What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, and I'm bringing you another exclusive interview. Remember a little while ago I told you when the drill first hit, guys that became stars, not so much the rappers. You know, the rappers kind of blew up, but it was guys in communities who kind of went nationwide with their names who wasn't rapping. And this another guy right here. This is Front Street Ruski. I talked to bro about a lot of shit. I told him I see him in pictures with everybody from Chief Keef to Blood money to Gino Marley to Fredo Santana and I told him that that neighborhood in that area of Front Street I hear about it a lot he didn't have from nothing he answered every question so most definitely subscribe to my channel ASAP hey, get money this is how I do cause I'm official a hundred niggas get to point pistols if I whistle hating ass niggas in the hood be trying to walk it out got the feeling you gonna be the one they put some chalk around Man, how you doing, big bro? This True Teller from We Are The True Tellers, man. I appreciate you giving me a chance to talk to you, bro. That's all good, bro. What's bro? Man, chilling, bro. I had did, like, kind of put up a post a little while ago about who the fans want me to interview next, bro. And I was just fucked up in the head by how many DMs I got about you, big bro. Right, right. That's what's up. I was wondering if you knew, man, not to get too deep into it, but I'm wondering if you knew, you know, the neighborhood where you're from kind of went global around the world, and people wanted me to ask you a few questions. Man, that's what's up down here. Right, so when you're chilling around the neighborhood and when you go places or when you take trips, do you find it dangerous because people know what neighborhood you're from? Uh, yeah, definitely. Hell yeah, motherfucker. See you and man, I do from woo and get on that with you. Right, so explain to me, how did it happen? Was it just like one day you guys woke up and the media was all in your neighborhood or something? Or was it gradually happened? Did you see the wave happen? Nah, bro, see, I was gone. I, had, I just come off a phone. Four right. years, I've been out almost two, though. Right. But that shit took off, goddammit, like right after I got locked up. Right. All that rap and all that shit, all that rap beat, everything really started taking off in like 2010. Beginning of 2011, that's when everything took off and shit. Right, and it's like a lot of the major players that's in the music business is kind of like from that area over there. Do you know a lot of those guys? Because I see you in a lot of pictures with everybody from people like Chief Keef to Blood Money to everybody. So it seemed like you probably know all those guys, right? Right, yeah, they're my brothers, all them, bro, all them. So how is it? Is Right, so is the media kind of, I want to know, bro, because I don't know, you know, I be hearing a lot from the media, I'm a reporter, so I interview a lot of people, I talk to people, is it real, like, how they portray it, like it's a danger zone in Chicago, or is it more media portrayed? Uh, uh, nah, I don't know, I'm that shit really happened, it's really turned up, but I'm close now. Yeah. It was, what, 80 murders, 80 murders last month. Damn. 80, man, I'm so why do you think the youth is so angry, bro? I mean, it's a, it's a lot of disrespect going on, bro. Mm -hmm. that, shit, that shit that can't be taken back, you know? Like, these dead niggas, they smoking, and all this shit, motherfuckers, dead homies. You can't take that shit back, bro, so it's a, it's a never-ending war, bro. This shit never end. Because it's too much disrespect, bro. Right. Period. We ain't got to do all, you know? Right. That's so the all up, bro. So you been hearing about these movements that's going on in Chicago with rappers that's banding together and shit like that? Yeah, that shit ain't working, man. That shit ain't gonna work. You don't think so? Can I get an opinion on that? You say can't get an opinion? I just told you, shit, it's too, it's too much disrespect. Ain't nobody with enough, you know? Right. Turn their back on that shit, turn their head. Right. You know, it's like, man. And I noticed too. You know, I noticed from a distance, it seemed like the number one thing with a lot of youth in Chicago is the rapping thing. Is that like, do you, I know you be around a lot of rappers, bro. Do you feel like you got to be from the streets to be a rapper? I mean, hell no, shit. 80% 80 of these motherfuckers. I seen a happy man named Car Gun Kill. Tell me what it look like. Hey, Car Gun Kill. Shoe Gun Curtis, the ball man dumb. Got a lot of racks in them. I'm jumping out the pussy, diving right back in it. Bless it so hot, they want me to stop for a minute. But everything's alright, know that I'ma get it. Yeah, everything's alright, know that I'ma get it. I'm thinking finna finish when the shit is just beginning. Now tell me what it look like. A nigga ballin' out like a new mind.